Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Gore's Trailer Reaction. This time I'm taking a look at a trailer for a little movie called I'm Not Ashamed. Which if you don't know about this movie, I ain't gonna tell you anything about it. We're just gonna watch the trailer. But before I start, I should say that this trailer I heard about from a little YouTuber called Cinema Snob. You might have heard of him. He does a thing called Midnight Screenings. He watched a little movie, I'm not gonna say, because it might spoil what this movie is all about. But, um... I don't, I don't, I don't want to say, but <laughs> I, I was going to give you a hint just in case you don't know what this is, but, um, it's, I heard about it on the cinema snob review for a certain movie that just recently came out and I had to watch this trailer. He described it in a way that just made me go, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Is that really what it's about? And I haven't seen it yet. So let's get right into it. I hope you guys don't even know what I'm talking about because here we go. Oh boy. Let's watch it. Good morning. It's Tuesday, April the 20th, 1999. We have a clear, sunny spring morning in the Denver metro. When the bombs blow up, it's going to be awesome. If oh. only we would have reached them sooner <laughs> or, or found this tape. Pain, pain, go away. Come again. It's a religious pain. film about Columbine. Is this some kind of prank? Rachel Joy Scott was the first student killed. She was murdered for her well, faith in Jesus. Where's your God now? Yeah, how about all the other people that were murdered? What are they murdered for? Because they didn't believe in Jesus? I want to be a light, but it feels so dark. What's up, four eyes? Oh! Rachel, that's amazing. Holy shit. I feel like I'm being manipulated. Look at the kind girl. We already showed you she gets killed, told you she gets killed. To touch people. She likes hands because that's how you touch people. I have this theory oh, shit. That if one I like ears because that's how I hear people. Oh, she showed compassion to the ugly the kid. I'm Rachel. Aww. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that kid never existed. In Littleton, Colorado, where there has been a school shooting. <laughs> Do you still believe in God? Oh. Wow. I'm sure that never happened. That interaction probably never happened. I assure you. Praise him. Yeah, she just got accepted, most likely. This is abysmal. I feel bad for this girl that actually died. And not just because she died. Of course, I feel bad about that. But she is being used to make money right here. She's the hands. Like, oh, no. He's sad. That guy's sad. Car's sad. Oh, everybody! Jesus, they they use that they use that, they use that fade in with people, or whatever composite shot, whatever, a lot too. They use that like four times in this. Wait, hold on, go back. I just saw something. Sadie Robertson, Corey Robertson, and Bella Robertson. I know Corey Robertson is a is from Duck Dynasty, so I'm assuming Bella Robertson and Sadie Robertson are also from Duck Dynasty. Cool. I don't know what they look like. They were probably in that trailer. One of them might have even played Rachel Joy Scott. That... Oh, oh, that trailer was some fuck. First of all, the title is very ironic because they should definitely feel ashamed. I don't even know what to say. That that was bad. That was like they even played like the Christian rock song. I, I can't even tell if it was actually Christian rock. I wasn't listening to what the lyrics were. But it was that kind of song you play during a trailer or even the movie itself about someone that died and like oh it's kind of upbeat sounding but it's really about you know it's really sad and stuff and they played a montage of her having fun and it looked like she got accepted to a college or something that's why she jumped or whatever um her jumping into a river or a lake or whatever uh it's so manipulative and i tell i'm i assure you this comes out the 20th the 17th uh, anniversary of the the columbine massacre I assure you, if this comes out in theaters, like wide release, which it just showed, this trailer showed right before God's Not Dead 2, so maybe it will, I will see it and I will review it. I hope it comes to a theater near me because I really need to... First of all, not only because it's about the Columbine Massacre and how they shoehorned it in just to have a tragedy. I know this girl was real. I know she was religious. I know some people would be like, well, you're talking out of your ass. I realize that. I know that. 
but this feels like something made for a religious group to go and bring in that religious money. That's all it, it feels like. It doesn't feel like a real biopic or where, where was it? A biopic's the word, right? Where you make a movie about a specific person. Um, it doesn't feel like that. It really does feel like God's Not Dead 3. It, should, it could have been called God's Not Dead 3 because that's probably what it's going to be about. God's great even though this this massacre happened. That's what it's going to be about. I'm telling you, this is what it's going to be about. And even if it's not about that, this trailer is not only terribly manipulative and terribly shot, the lighting is awful, they think that composite thing is really well, very clever and it's not, you know, where they're, oh, there's nothing there, oh, now they're fading in or whatever. It's just bad filmmaking. So either way, even if it ends up being a, actually a, a nice little portrayal of this woman, this girl that died, it doesn't matter. It looks like shit either way. It's going to be shit. I can assure you it's going to be a terrible movie. I can assure you, 100% assure you, it's going to be fucking terrible. But not only that, it really does look like a movie that was made... Oh, Columbine Massacre, we can add some religious stuff in there. Someone died that was religious. It, it feels like they, they just found out, like, wait, hold on. Someone that died, the first student that got killed was religious? We can make a religious movie out of it. We can make so much money. That's what it feels like. Visible pictures, I know what the fuck you're doing. And screw you, the Robertsons. Screw you. I hate you. I played your game, but I hate you. But, uh, yeah, this, this was terrible. I don't know what else to say. Uh... I'll see it, and I'll review it, and it will probably be shit. Not probably. It will be shit. Again, I can assure you this. Um, yeah, so I mean, hey, rest in peace to the actual girl that died. Not this betrayal, because I'm sure she probably had way worse things in her life that were going on. Not everything was, you know, great in her life. Like, oh, I got accepted, and I love Jesus, and all my friends, and I'm a nice person. Then she gets killed. I'm sure that's not actually... I'm sure I'm sure her her life story was a little bit more complicated. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe that was true, but this movie trailer made it seem like her life was just oh, it's going all uphill. Everything's great and then bang, she gets killed. Um I feel bad for her. Rest in peace to her. Rest in peace to all the other people that died in Columbine. Uh screw the guys that did it. I I have no sympathy for them. I don't care if they grew up motherless and f father abusiveness. Wait, what? That doesn't mean if their father would be. I don't give a shit. They're pieces of shit, and they deserve to be killed. Um, that's just my say. I don't care. But um, this movie looks like shit. That's what I'm trying to get to. And uh, there you go. That's what I gotta say. And you should be ashamed. Um, it's bad. I didn't like it. There's no Batman in it. That's what I'm really trying to say. I'm getting around to it. There's no Batman. So zero out of ten. It's terrible. But no, really, it's a fucking god awful trailer. And uh, whoever made it should be ashamed. And also, whoever gave these this trailer uh, thumbs up. So I already gave it a dislike. I didn't even watch the trailer yet uh, when I gave that dislike. I knew I wasn't going to like it. But whoever gave that 767 thumbs ups, you 767 people are dumb. You're dumb. I'm sorry. You just are. I'm not talking down to you. I'm just telling you what you are. You're dumb. So there you go. Thank you and goodbye.